What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another video here in my lawn in Central North Carolina. Check out the past videos we've been doing about the project lawn. If you're interested about that, go check those out. You can sometimes find cards in the top corner. That's what those are. You can click on those and come back to this video or you can just search my history. Um, so today we're back in the lawn. Quick weather update. Um, I did go low. It's probably a terrible time to mow down my lawn to three inches. I just wanted to see what it looks like. And it was probably a little too much to do. The lawn's not looking great. And you can see behind me, um, it looks pretty uh, brownish. Um, and you can see that all the way back here, all the way over here. And that's because we're back in that really hot warming trend. We're in the mid 80s. It feels great outside. I love this weather, but my goodness, the lawn doesn't like it. Um, and so really, I need to throw the sprinkler out here. It may do that here in a few um, because the lawn is, is thirsty. Um, we've not had any rain. We may have a possible chance of rain tomorrow, uh, the day that you're viewing this video. And then it looks like maybe on the weekend we have a chance, but we're in high heat, no water, that would equal me here in North Carolina. So hopefully the mature fescue that we have is gonna be able to make it through the summer and the heat. But that's kind of the quick update on my lawn. Today I want to show you, I did a short on this and I've already filmed the beginning of the video for our little sod experiment plugs. I'm gonna explain that to you in a minute. Clearly when we put this video out in several weeks, We'll go through all this information in that video, but we'll get an idea. I'll give you guys that are paying attention now an idea of why we're doing this test, where we are, give you an, even a quick update of the, uh, of the test that's going on right now as we speak. And I do have a modification to it that I can go ahead and tell you about, but to show you uh, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and uh, to uh, just get you up to speed. I hope you will enjoy this quick update about the future experiment video we're gonna be doing. And uh, you can do this in your own lawn if you want to. Uh, just all you need is a couple things and you can try this out on your own and let me know what your thoughts are. But let me show you what we're talking about really fast. So here's just a closer look at the, th the thirstiness of the lawn. You can see green, normal looking grass versus the stressed out grass. So not looking good, especially if we don't get any rain tomorrow. So uh, it's that time of year, guys. Uh, likely in these stressed out areas, we've, we've got rocks or something prohibiting the roots in these areas. So uh, if you're seeing this in your lawn, you probably got spots similarly uh, that look like this. And uh, the best thing we can do is keep water on it. But ultimately the, the ultimate solution is to dig up these areas and uh, put in, take out the rock, put in more topsoil and replace the sod. But again, that's a major project that many of us won't do. But if you're looking to do something, I've had questions about that. That is one of the solutions is it's likely what's underneath the surface is rock, some type of uh, obstacle stopping our roots from getting down to where the water is. And it's just lack of water. And so all of this eventually will, uh, will look like this. Uh, if it doesn't have adequate water. So anyways, back to what we were talking about, just wanted to throw that in there. Here is where I'm doing my little test area, right outside my door here. Um, I'm leaving this little box here. I may slot it over here more towards so it can get sun. You know, the sun goes from when I'm facing my home from left to right, the sun moves. So in the evening, it is behind these trees somewhere. Um, and that's why this area behind over here, uh, likely most of the time don't get a whole lot of sun. So our grass type is different here than it is out here but anyways so this is our experiment and i just want to give you an update on what we're doing since you guys are uh, constantly watching the channel before the video goes out the first part obviously we've done so i've got these grow bags these are two gallon grow bags i'll put them in the link of the uh, link in the description below if you're interested on it so why do you got four mr ferguson what is that uh, what are you doing? So number one, we've got sand located in these grow bags because sand holds no nutritional value to a plant. When we have dirt in our lawn, there's nutrients in that soil. There's nutrients in that dirt, right? And our plants feed off those nutrients. And so water plus the nutrients allows it to thrive. And that's why we get a lawn, right? Well, at the beach, you'll notice there's a lot of sandy soil and sand does not contain nutrients in 
and sand. It's just sand material. It's just sand. There's nothing in it to, for the plant to feed off of nutrient wise. So we do this experiment in sand to have everybody in level playing field. Then what we're doing is we, if you have sandy soil, one of the things lawn care professionals will tell you is that you have to apply the nutrients to a sandy soil. So at the, at the coast where my brother is, he has to be applying, if he's going to grow grass, he has to apply the nutrients manually because in the soil, the sand, there is no nutrients. But one good thing I can say about sand is that it's definitely not going to compact, right? Roots are able to dig through sand and get down deep as they want to go. However, so compaction is not a real issue, but there's no tr nutritional value. Whereas us that have hard dirt, there's nutrients in that dirt, but if it's so hard and we don't aerate our lawn, then the roots can't get down. It can cause the plant to suffer and die. So that's why we're doing sand. Number one is because they're equal in no nutrients are in this dirt slash sand. Secondly, we're using St. Augustine plugs. The reason why we're doing that is because that's what Amazon had available and that's what I had sent to me. Um, yes, uh, next test we'll try to do if I can find it. I looked on Amazon, this was not possible. I wanted to do a strip of Kentucky bluegrass, do a strip of fescue, sod by one little cut. Uh, that wasn't available. We've got St. Augustine plugs. You see, based on this picture, that three of them are doing better than this one. Well, why is that? We're doing tests with three or with, with four quote, four different, quote, products. Uh, really, it's three, but we'll say four. So we got RGS, and that's what's labeled RGS. We've got water only, which is, let's see, RGS, water only, um, CK, and then green pop. So the one that doesn't look very good is green pop. And that's the one thing that uh, I want to address here in just a second. So how did we go about applying the products to each uh, sod plug. Well, I did it exactly how Alan Hain did it, and that's what we'll talk about with the green pop here in a second. Um, we, we took a gallon bucket. We took a five-gallon bucket over here, and what I did was fill up the five-gallon bucket. I took my cup of 64 ounces, my GCI cup. I filled one cup up, poured it in the bucket. Uh, two cups of 64 ounces equals 128 ounces, which equals one gallon of water. So, for example, with the RGS, instead of doing Six, we took 64 ounces of water, dumped it in the bucket. Then we took 61 ounces of water and added three ounces of RGS. And then we dumped it in the bucket, mixed it around, took the sod plant out of the tray, dipped it in the bucket, one, two, pulled it out, stuck it into the sand. And then later on, we gave it one cup of water to simulate watering it in, right? And so we did that equally. And then the water only, we just did two you know, one gallon of water, dip the plug in, planted it in the sand. The next one we did CK. We did uh, 64 ounces of water, dumped it in, 63.5 ounces of water, or roughly that, dumped it in, and then 0.5 ounces of CK. Mix that up, dip the sod plug in it, put it back in the, uh, in the sand over here. Same thing with water, same thing with CK. And then, so for green pop, this is the, this is the caveat that I'm going to work on and I'm going to change. So by the time the, this video comes out, you'll be able to see a result. I went back and said, dang it, I've done fried this sod plug right here. It is not looking good, uh, compared to the other ones. You can see, uh, this is based off, uh, three days. So you can see these look pretty good, right? Even these down here in the tray look better than this guy. This guy does not look healthy. So clearly too much nitrogen to such a small piece of grass, right? Or a small plug of grass. Well, I went back and said, dang it, I've done screwed up because I did the same as the label for everything, right? But obviously this is the only one with nitrogen. So I'm going to let this go. Um, with the plan. It is green pop and that is 15 ounces. So we did it by the book. 15 ounces plus uh, you know, 64 ounces of water and then 15 minus 64 is what uh, Mr. Ferguson? 49. 49 ounces of water plus 15 or something like that. I'm sorry if my math is off there but you get the point right? It equaled with the green pop it equaled 64 ounces. Dumped that in, dipped the plug, planted it and clearly 
that is for, and I know what somebody's already saying, but Mr. Ferguson, it's 15 ounces per thousand square feet of the, of the starter fur. You are correct. But again, we did the same with these. And so we're trying to be equal to what the label says. So clearly that is too much nitrogen for just this little piece, even just dipping it in there. Uh, it's not liking it. It's too hot. Um, so each day I have come out here and watered each of these equally to try to get this thing alive. So I'm not just going to trash it. Um, I'm going to keep it to the end, but what I'm going to do is mix a Another bucket and this is for the record we'll explain this in the actual video but I'm gonna get another gallon of uh, five gallon bucket over here uh, after this video uh, and go ahead and start a new green pop too and basically I will do a very reduced amount of green pop I only have a little bit of green pop left so I think I'm gonna do like three ounces um, like I did with the because that's the most we did with any of these three ounces water only 0.5 ounces of CK, and then we'll do three ounces of green pop mixed in a gallon of water, dip it and go that route and see what happens there, right? So we want them all to be successful. So we'll have the 15 ounces per the label, which is probably gonna just nitrogen burn and die. And then we'll have three ounces, which is very much reduced, but maybe, um, more for the size of a sod plug like this and maybe it won't fry it because we want to properly have nitrogen to see top growth versus these other products right so that's the idea so it's a lot of explanation hope that makes sense but we're trying to be constant if you have a better idea let me know below but in alan haynes video he actually just discarded the green pop he discarded the hydrotain he disregarded the uh, foreplay because they all basically uh, were a no-go they burned up and die he was out of town so he did so i did do it according to what alan did but apparently it's just too much even just dipping it for a second it was too much nitrogen for this sod plant so i've got two more here so i don't have but uh one more bucket and i've got to find that one more bucket to be able to do uh green pop number two so we will be adding that um i was going to do urea but at this point uh, again i don't have another bucket so we'll just have to save that so we've got rgs versus water only versus ck versus green pop at 15 ounces and we'll do green pop at uh three ounces just so the side plug lives so we can see is there a top growth difference which obviously there should be when we're talking about nitrogen and nutrients none of the sand has nutrients so the ck is not providing nutrients the rgs isn't providing it but the starter fur is water only it's water and sand and then the plug so uh, it's going to be interesting to compare what will the top growth look like what will the roots look like in this experiment so that's what it is we're going to let it run alan let his run about 25 days so you're talking about three weeks. So I'm going to let this run for three weeks. So into sometime into um, the end of Mayish, we'll come back and take a look at where we are on this experiment. And I do have just enough sand to start the other plug with a reduced green pop formula. So I wanted to just go ahead and tell you guys that. So let me know your thoughts about this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this. The full video, we're going to do everything I just told you. Plus, we'll cut to 25 days later-ish and show you the results in the one video. That's why I'm waiting to put it out, if that makes sense. And obviously, if you're a member, you'll get to see that video first. Uh, well, I'll publish that to you guys first that you can comment, view it, um, and, uh, and, and all that good stuff. One of the perks of being a channel member. So God bless you guys. I hope that uh, um, explanation makes sense. And uh, we will see you guys next time on another lawn care video from Central North Carolina. God bless you guys.